Dark Souls Incorporated, Callista Secretary of Mr. Alucard speaking, how may I help you? Yeah. Yes, of course, we can do that. We can do that, uh, no problem. I will just uh, be needing your details. Okay. Mm-hmm. And your number, please? Yes. I know the number comes up on the screen, but it's just easier for us as a corporation to have the numbers directly on paper underneath the rest of the information. Okay, yes. Thank you. Okay, so you will be require requiring a appointment with uh, Mr. Alucard? Yes, okay. Let me just uh, look at his availabilities. Okay, yes, so he has an opening on Friday the 13th at 3 o'clock. Is that good for you? Obviously, Mr. Arogard is a very busy person and um, that is the first availability that, uh, that he has. Okay, I would be much obliged if you could make that work. Yes, of course. Okay, no problem. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. Souls Incorporated, Calista Secretary to Mr. Alagar. How may I help you? Just, just one second, please. Hello, um, I'm on the phone right now, so um, could you just wait one minute, please? Thank you. Great. Hello. Yes, I'm so sorry for making you wait. So. Yes, yes, we have that uh, product in stock. Yes, of course we ship. Yes. Okay, so I will take your details. Mm -hmm. And uh, could you please uh, tell me your uh, your telephone number, please? Okay, thank you. And um, I will also take the amount of that product that you would like to order. Okay, yes. That is a good amount, yes. Okay. No problem. And the address of shipping, please. Okay, yes. Is that in the area? Okay, good, good. Save on the shipping costs when it's not too far away. Of course. Yes, okay, that is all written down. And uh, Mr. Arakat will himself send you an email of confirmation. Which you can just click on the link to confirm your order and to proceed to payment. And uh, you will be notified of every step. Yes, thank you. Okay, have a good day. Goodbye. I am so sorry for making you wait. Yes, the company is very busy. So, 
what is it I can do for you? Are you looking for uh, some cosmetics? Hmm? Missing girls? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. No? Um, yes, of course, I will. I will take a look at the pictures. seen these uh, women before. They are very pretty. Very pretty. But um, I have never seen them before. Why, oh, why do you come here looking for them? They worked here? Before me? Oh. Well, that is very unfortunate. But I cannot say that I know these girls at all. No. Yes, I agree that uh, we share the same style of clothing. But um, we are clearly very different. Well, here you go. Give you back the pictures. I'm sorry I cannot help you anymore. Is there anything else I can do for you? You would like to speak to Mr. Arogard? Hmm. That is going to be very difficult. You understand? He is a very busy man. He is the head of this incorporation. You understand that as being a head of corporation Lots of responsibilities, yes, and very little time. But if you insist, I will call him and ask. I do not promise, I do not make promises that I cannot keep, you understand? I will do my best, but I promise nothing. Calista, the secretary, um, I have a detective in the building at the front desk at the moment. He is um, wanting to speak to you. He is looking, um, he is investigating into the disappearance of uh, two people, two women, he says that worked for you um, before me in this position. So he is uh, wanting to talk to you about it, to see if you know anything. Yes, I understand that this is a, a very uncomfortable situation, but I tried telling him that uh, you are very busy and cannot receive anyone, but he really insists and he is with the police, so he works with the police, so I think it might be a good idea to comply. Well, let me have a look at your schedule. Yes, it's very difficult. Yes, I know. Um, you have uh, you have an appointment, right? 
narrow you are in with somebody at the moment Okay, okay, so your appointment finishes soon. Okay, would it be okay for me to send up uh, the detective after that your appointment finishes? Yes, I understand. Okay, hold on one second. What is your name, please? Van Helsing. Very interesting name, detective. Any family in the area? Okay. Okay, so it's uh, Detective Van Helsing. Yes, I asked. So I will send him up after your appointment is finished. So if you just uh, call down when you're done, I will send him up. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mr. Velka. receive you for the moment but you are in luck because his appointment finishes soon and uh, he will be able to receive you after that appointment but you will have to wait about 15 to 20 minutes before he can receive you I'm sorry it's the best that uh, we, we could do Mr. Alcad is a very busy person, you understand, being the head of a corporation. It, there are many responsibilities. Yes, and he has very little time. But as uh, you are an investigator with the police, uh, we will cooperate, of course. In the meantime, you are welcome to wait in our waiting room. You would like to ask me some questions? Okay, well, I will do my best to answer your questions as best I can. Are they about the investigation? Yes, I would have thought so. But some not about the investigation. Fire away and uh, I will see what I can do for you. Yes. Yes. The background to the office is very pretty. Mr. Alucard makes a point of um, making all of his employees feel at home. And me, I am a dark soul. But I also like colors, like the colors in my hair, yes, and there are blue colors, and there are pink colors, and purplish colors all over, and although I like to dress in black, I also like a few colors, the uh, bottom of my dress is um, red and it has pink uh, ribbons on it yes it's very pretty i made it myself you know yeah handmade with uh, these little babies i beg your pardon The way I dress a hindrance to my work? Why would it be? You understand how retail works, right? 
I mean, your image has to suit the company, and this company is called Dark Souls Incorporated. So the employees have to fit the image. They have. So no, I do not think that the way I dress or the way I wear my hair or the accessories that I have on, I do not think that these pose a problem to my workplace because it is very fitting to what we do here. Yeah. And also customers are not put off by this type of appearance because the customers that shop here who come and place orders that is what they are looking for we make cosmetics for the darker soul type of person so people like me we have this type of lip gloss which is a darker shade of red which I think suits perfectly this type of outfit and also the type of skin that I have um, people who like dressing dark often have this uh, very fair skin type and it suits yes it suits these are also from the corporation. These are one of our products. And if I'm being honest, it is a big craze. It's one of our biggest items that we uh, get bought biggest orders that we get often comprise a lot of these and I personally really really enjoy playing with them I love the sounds that they make do you not find this very relaxing to listen to. This is one of the perks of having this position. Well, I have been working here for about two months now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love this job. Mr. Alucard does everything he can to make his employees feel at home and to help us as much as he can. You want to know more about Mr. Alucard? Well, he's a very compassionate and giving human being. Yes, he's a wonderful person. Yes, I'm sure you can't wait to meet him. You are probably dying to meet him. Hmm. I was just uh, getting a whiff of you. You have good blood. Yes. It's one of my many talents. I think that Mr. Alucard is going to enjoy you greatly. Yes. And 
I think that for you meeting him will be a life altering situation I think that it is going to change your life Mr. Alucard is wonderful honestly just wait and see really so about these girls that went missing do, um, where is the investigation up to? do you have any suspects? Hmm? nothing? well it is very alarming for me to find out that two people who have occupied my position have gone missing it's alarming for me but you know people go missing all over the world and all the time every day someone goes missing here someone goes missing there and uh, especially in a big place where we live this is a big place a big a big city and uh, I'm afraid to say you get used to it people pop in people pop out especially in the retail business people never stick around long even the employees they disappear and then they turn up and sometimes they don't I'm sorry if I don't seem more shocked it's alarming yes but I'm used to it you know so I hope that uh, Mr. Alucard can help you in your investigation I wish I could help you more but there isn't much I can do mm -hmm. message and uh, send uh, detective Van Helsing up to you okay thank you so much for uh, finding the time to receive this uh, yummy detective yes yes I think you are greatly going to enjoy detective Van Helsing I got I got a whiff of him and I think that he gets his cosmetics from a very good place because he smells so good yes as I said he's very yummy I personally if I may say so I would eat him all up but I will leave him for you Mr. Arapart of course yes no problem I will send him up thank you for taking the time to receive this uh, very yummy detective okay goodbye sorry about that conversation that you um, overheard yes yes I did get a good smell of you and uh, you smell like you have good blood which also means that you get your cosmetics from a good place I just wanted to show you this is the lip gloss that 
I am very and I just thought that um, the way you looked at it on my face looked like it interested you so just before you go up to see Mr. Alucard who can be receive you in two minutes I thought I would show you this. You looked interested. So this is our lip gloss in the shade number one, which is a sparkly dark red. Yes, it does remind one of blood. That is kind of the whole idea this corporation they do cosmetics that uh, are meant for the darker type of person who enjoys wearing darker makeup and darker and darker um, cosmetics in general they do black nail polishes dark blue nail polishes different shades of dark lip gloss, dark eyeshadows, and um, eye pencils, and also dark contouring uh, pencils for the lips, and other types of um, accessories like these, as I mentioned before. So please don't hesitate if uh, you have a uh, wife or a girlfriend or perhaps a niece if they have the same blood as you we would be so happy to receive them so if you have someone like that Please don't hesitate to order something from our catalog. Yes, they're at the front door as you walk in. They're uh, just on your, the left side of the door. And we also, we also mm -hmm. do darker like stationary things this one is uh, from the corporation this is one of our products but this one is mine I was given it when I started working here and I use it as a notebook for writing down messages from Mr. Alucard and um, just uh, general things that I think should be written down they are just blank These are just a few of the products that um, seeing you I think might interest you.
The secretary of yes yes of course Mr. Arokard I'm so sorry I was just showing a uh, um, detective and helping a few of our products yes of course of course I will send him up uh, right away I'm so sorry okay goodbye okay I'm so sorry about that I just I really wanted to show you some of our products, and uh, but the boss is getting impatient, so you uh, sh you should go to him. So it's just over there. You go uh, up the and you'll see the sign towards his office. Okay. Great. Okay. Well, um, I will wish you good luck. And uh, could you just? Tell Mr. Arakard uh, from me, bon appétit. Yes, he will understand. Yes, just give him that message. It will be fine. Okay. Okay, well, off you go. Mr. Arakard is waiting for you. So, I bid you a good day. <laughs> ah, Detective Van Helsing. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Alucard at your service. Now my time is limited, detective. What can I help you with? Missing girls. I cannot remember anything about missing girls. Yes. Let me have a look. Mm. Cute. Unfortunately, I have not seen them. Do you have any other questions, Detective Van Helsing? Yes, if you must know, I came from Romania a year ago, give or take, to start up a new business in this country. People have been most pleasurable to deal with so far. I have always been interested in fragrances. Hence why I started this cosmetic company. It is windy today, is it not? Even in this high-rise building, the winds are shaking the foundations. <laughs> Do you care for a test of our merchandise? We have used classic bottles. These are only tests. But perhaps something is to your liking. Very well. I shall not bother you with such fatalities. Van Helsing. That is a name I have not heard in a long time. Yes, indeed. My ancestors once had a family feud with the Van Helsings. <laughs> in a similar situation such as this, I, he had purchased Perhaps even the same house, Carfax Abbey. It was a long time ago, so I do not remember. Well, my ancestors' move here did not go 
as smooth as mine. The Van Helsing's gaming cut a hard time if you can recognize what I'm saying. They didn't want him there, so they did everything they could to throw him out. They even went as far as to chase him back to Romania. Of course, your ancestor was not a detective, he was a professor. Weird, as you say over here, that you have not heard of him. Well, sometimes dead is better. What I mean is you should not dig too deep into the past because it has a weird effect of dealing, growing, spreading into the future. Don't you agree, Mr. Van Helsing? I'm sorry, detective. Is there anything else I can do to make you less curious about this place? Perhaps a little gift. Are you a married man? You are not. Hmm. True love defines the ages. I'm sorry that you haven't found your spark, detective. Anyway, if you should ever find someone, take this little gift and tell them it's for their heart's desire. Hmm. Yes, back to the two girls. Let me look again. So they worked here. Are you sure it was not before I took over? Quite sure indeed. Yes. Isn't that to become a little too personal, detective? These teeth are a trademark of the Alucard family and has been so throughout generations. Don't be silly. Of course people do not take me for a vampire. And if we do, they are gravely mistaken. I am not a man to be trifled with, detective. No, it is of no use to me to look at those pictures. I have not seen them. I will take a look in my database. Ah, is these the ones? It says here that one of them stopped working and disappeared. Yes, that is true. I, however, now recollect she was talking about moving to America. And as far as I believe, she was friends with girl number two. Am I not correct? Detective. Do you mind if I speak openly here? I think that those two were in cahoots. At the same time as you can see. There. A pretty large sum of money disappeared from the company. We have not looked into it yet. This company is a gold mine. So a couple of dollars here and there. Who cares, right? But I think they stole the money and went away without wanting to be found, Mr. Van Helsing. I'm sorry, detective. Could very well be Oh yes, my new secretary, 
adorable, is she not? What do you mean it would be tragic if she disappeared? Indeed it would. But you see, she already have disappeared. But I found her and I gave her this job. You are shivering, detective. Is it the coal in the air? Perhaps it is the damp quality of my office. The air conditioning is not working properly yet. Smell of death. <laughs> I cannot feel the smell that you are referring to. Are you interested in death, Detective Van Helsing? To truly be dead must be such a blessing. Yes, Professor, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes. For hundreds of years I have been searching for you, Professor. You can call yourself detective, it does not matter, the soul of the Van Helsing is in you. I am Dracula and I have come here to make this land my dominion and this time you cannot stop me. What do you think are in these bottles? Chemistry with magic, it will make the people my cattle to eat, to drink whenever I please. And you, Van Helsing, cannot do anything about it, not this time. Now, look into my eyes again. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Are you feeling tired, detective? I'm so sorry. It is late in the night. I have a rare skin condition that makes me avoid the sun. Well, I hope I have helped you with your quest for the girls. Yes, there is nothing more for you to get there. But it has been a pleasure to talk to you, Professor. I mean detective. Should our roads cross again, I hope it is under better circumstances. Good, good. There is a storm coming. I can feel it in the air. And when it comes, it's better to be in the same house. I wish you a peaceful night, detective. And maybe, just maybe, I will see you soon. <laughs>